Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. A doubleheader at the Show Me Center. The SEMO men and women looking to hit stride as they approach the home stretch of the OVC season. The Red Hawks women would take the floor first. A rowdy having a good time with that camera and the Red Hawks trying to get really something going early. They got some baskets. You can see the young fan with the Red Hawks shirt as they're trying to, to pour on some more from the outside. And Simo with some buckets, but Tennessee Tech would control the first half. Just to give you a little taste of it, we'll have more highlights tonight, but we'll put the score up right now. The last that we had, Tennessee Tech 45 to 33 as they enter the third quarter. Meanwhile, coming up about 7.30 or so, Southeast Missouri State and Tennessee Tech, the men will take the floor. Highlights tonight of that matchup as well on Heartland Sports. SEMO baseball team picked to finish third in the Ohio Valley Conference preseason poll. UT Martin fourth, Little Rock the early favorite. Another Jackson golfer signs on to play at the collegiate level. Harper Reddy will play at Southern Indiana University next season. I just really love the team and the coaches and the community is great. I love the campus and I'm so excited to be a part of it for the next four years. Harper Reddy, one of Jackson's key members on the state qualifying team. Also Kelly's uh, college basketball signing. Jada Griggs will continue her career at the University of Health Sciences and Pharmacy in St. Louis. Congratulations to our athletes. And congrats to Coach Dana Powell's Cape Central swimming and diving team. They just continue to roll on. The Lady Tigers claim their fourth straight SEMO Conference Championship this week. They have been phenomenal uh, preparing, before you know it, for state, all the big postseason matchups. We're going to take a timeout. We'll prepare to wrap it up right after this. <laughs> 